Hey everyone, welcome back to Connor D. Meadows Farm. My name is Ricky and today in the kitchen we are going to be making a quick bread. This bread recipe is super simple. It requires only four ingredients. So you're going to need flour, you're going to need salt, you're going to need yeast, and you're going to need hot water. Now, one thing to note, the yeast that you do need to use is a quick rise yeast in this instance. This uh, bread, they call it a no need bread. There is a little bit of kneading that you still need to do, but nothing like um, what my whey bread <laughs> needs. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to put in three cups of aerated flour. How do I aerate my flour? One of these old timers. I know the first thing you guys are gonna ask me is if you can just use the flour without aerating. Of course you can. I have just found that when you aerate it, it is slightly uh, softer and springier, but it's not necessary to aerate it. You can just use the three cups of flour, no problem. Then you're going to use two teaspoons of the quick yeast and one teaspoon of salt of your choice. I like Himalayan, but that's just my choice. It doesn't really matter. Then you're going to use one and a half cups of warm water. You don't want it hot, extremely hot, because you don't want to uh, wreck the yeast, but you need it to be warm to activate the yeast. And then you're just gonna go ahead and mix it all together. In total, from the beginning of this clip that I have on fast forward to the end of this clip here, it's actually took me about five to six minutes of getting this all mixed together. So the reality is it really doesn't take that long. Get it into a nice ball and then cover it with wrap. Um, I use beeswax. Then you're going to let it rise for an hour. So here we are after an hour of it rising. And what we're going to do is we're going to lightly flour the surface of the counter. And then we are going to go ahead and take it out of its bowl. And to try to be gentle because you do want to keep some of the air into it. So we're just going to go ahead, clean out the bowl. And then just set the bowl aside because you're going to use it again. Now you're going to mix this about anywhere from 8 to 12 times. I try to handle the bread as little as possible. Then I'm gonna shape it into a ball. And um, that's because this is the shape that you're going to end up with at the end. Now you're going to grab some parchment paper and it's very important that you use parchment paper here because this will be going in the oven with it. First thing you're going to do though is you're going to put it into the bowl again and put your plastic wrap or in this case beeswax wrap on top for another hour. When you have about 15 minutes left on that hour, go ahead and get your stove started up and you're going to heat it to 450. When you go to heat it, put your Dutch oven inside of the stove. So cold stove, cold Dutch oven, turn it on to 450. Once it has come to temperature, leave it for an additional five minutes. And then you're going to take the Dutch oven out. Remember to use gloves, this is very hot. And you are going to get your bread. And I like to score my bread. Do you need to score your bread? No, but I do find that the crust turns out a lot nicer and a lot fluffier if you do score it, much like you would if you were making sourdough bread. While this isn't sourdough bread, it does resemble sourdough bread when all is said and done. Um, so scoring it helps it uh, puff up a lot more. And you're going to go ahead, carefully take your lid off and be very careful in this step. You're going to use the parchment paper to gently lift the bread and pop it into your Dutch oven. Then you're going to put the lid back on your Dutch oven and you are going to put it into the stove. Remember this Dutch oven is very hot. Your stove is very hot. So please be careful. And then once it's in the stove, you are going to set your timer for 30 minutes. So this is going to bake for 30 minutes in the stove. The next thing that you're going to be doing after the 30 minutes is over is you're going to take it out of the oven. Again, be careful, this is hot. And you're going to take the lid off 
and then you're going to very carefully slide the parchment paper out from underneath the bread. You're going to leave the bread in the oven and then you are going to put it back into the hot oven. And what you're doing right now is you are finishing cooking it, but you're also crisping it up the top and the bottom of the crust a little bit. And you're going to put it in for 15 minutes. And at the end of this 15 minutes, this bread is done. And you can see it, it's got a nice crisp on it and uh, Again, keep in mind, this is really hot, so be careful. Now you can see it's nice browned up. You can see the scoring, um, and you're just going to let it sit on the counter for a little bit, usually 15, 20 minutes before I go ahead and cut it open. And if you look very carefully, you can see that it does take me a little bit of effort to get through the crust on the top, but you can see that it is fairly soft the rest of the way. Now the bottom crust is very crunchy, so it takes a little bit of extra effort to get through there. And you can see here is the inside crumb. It's beautiful bread. If you actually look carefully through this part of the video, you can actually see the steam rising up from this nice beautiful bread. And there is its crumb. I was trying to show you the steam. I don't know that you can see it as good as I can, but there it is. Makes a beautiful, nice round bread. Now you can see how spongy it is. Well, the top is very crispy. And here I'm squishing the sides to show you the same. The top and the bottom, like the crust of the bread, is fairly squishy. And here, look at that, just springing back beautifully. So while you have a nice kind of crispy, crunchy outer layer, the inside is absolutely soft and delicious. And I have decided to go ahead and spread some butter on it and enjoy this fresh, warm bread from the oven. Absolutely delicious. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with us in the kitchen and we will see you next time.